As 2020, we know, has been a very weird year everywhere, and that translates into sports. So before I even ask you guys a question, I want to take a look at uh, the AFC East standings here for the audience. The Bills on top. The Patriots near the bottom. Matt Fairburn, since you are first timer or two after hours, we're going to start with you. What do you make of the standings and the weirdness of this year? Yeah, it's certainly weird, but you know, this is the plan the Bills have had all along when Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean took over. They're now in year four, and they've said all along that, you know, it's not a successful rebuild until they contend and win the AFC East. And they've viewed the Patriots as sort of the, the target for a long time. And now they're in a position of strength in the division for the first time in, I don't know, 20 plus years. So it is uh, not a surprise to the people in the building, but uh, it's definitely a surprise to a lot of people outside of it. Do you, do you think they're looking to make a statement, the Bills, that is, this Sunday? Well, you know, of course, they, they say it's just the next game on the schedule and they're taking it one week at a time. But I think the statement portion of this game kind of went out the window when Tom Brady left town. Uh, even if they beat the Patriots or knock them off this year, I think there's a lot of people that will, uh, you know, discredit it because Tom Brady's gone. But, you know, Jerry Hughes, the guy in the Bills locker room who has been there the longest and lost to the Patriots the most, definitely recognizes the importance of this game. And he's tried to impress that upon some guys, you know, just this is the team that, that they're chasing in the AFC East. Regardless of what the standings say right now, the Patriots are still the team to beat, and that's the way the Bills are treating them. Chatham, your reaction to the standings, and then, of course, this being a statement game, yes or no, for the Bills. Yeah, I'll roll with uh, James White's comments today. I thought uh, James kind of hit the nail on the head, and I know where this comes from. You know, this is usually a line that Coach Belichick feeds guys when uh, things aren't going as they want to. He, he said that everything they want is still before them, and that's usually how this stuff breaks down. Is it disappointing that, that they have the record they have right now? Absolutely. Did they anticipate being in this spot? No, of course not. Uh, but usually the way they break this down is they say, okay, that part sucks, but what have we lost thus far?